John Baldoni here with another impromptu concert. Last week I uh, played piano on the 4th of July and I got some positive comments so I thought, wait, hey, let's do it again. So today I'm going to play a little bit of eclectic uh, selection and I'll start off with a few uh, tunes from um, the operatic master Giacomo Puccini. This first one is from Nesun Dorma, which is, means they are all asleep. Okay. <laughs> Angelica. I saw it performed once many years ago, and this is about a, uh, a novitiate and a, a, and a uh, nunnery, and um, the nuns are talking about her, and this is called Senza Mamma. She has no mother. Okay. <laughs> tiny bit of opera note and it's again by Puccini O mio babino caro it's from the opera comedic opera one act uh, Johnny Schicchi and in this aria the young woman is uh, begging her father uh, Johnny Schicchi who is a, a schemer to let her marry uh, her lover okay uh, how often have we heard that theme in opera anyway it's a lovely lovely poignant melody Oh, mio babino caro. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
switch gears completely and uh, I used to play uh, regularly in a senior center and uh, I always closed my little recitals with them with um, Elvis and my friends would say Elvis and you're playing to older folks and I go well, yeah and you think about it Elvis was born in 1935 so if he were alive today he'd be 85 so anyway um, uh, anyway I'll play a couple of songs from Elvis uh, this first one is um, one that a favorite of mine, Return to Sender. same era, don't be cruel. Elvis's ballads, which are good when they're not overproduced uh, with too many strings in the background, uh, they sound pretty good when you pair them down. So this one's called Crying in the Chapel. <laughs> Ignore Teddy Bear. 
Okay, very similar to Don't Be Cruel, but. Uh, it was a wonderful, uh, uh, Elvis was actually <laughs> quite a remarkable character, uh, of course, um, and actually was always trying to push himself musically, even if his uh, talent manager wouldn't allow him. So one time in his career, he was looking for a new manager, and as Jerry Weintraub tells in his autobiography, which is a wonderful read, by the way, Jerry um, um, Weintraub was a very successful um, film producer and improvis um, impresario, and Elvis asked for his help in maybe finding some new management. And so uh, um, uh, uh, Weintraub reached out and found a guy in the UK, and he said, come watch Elvis' show. And this was when Elvis was wearing the cape and the white thing in Vegas, and uh, I hadn't yet put on all the weight. And he said, you come to the show, and you'll be our guest, and, and uh, you know, come back after the show and meet Elvis. But he said, I tell you one thing. Please don't comment on anything in Elvis's act. The first time you meet him, just meet and greet and just say, how are our things going? So anyway, this man watches the show, comes backstage, meets Elvis. First thing he does and walk up to him and he says, Elvis, about that cape, do you really need that? Well, that was it for that potential manager. So <laughs> it's a good lesson, and I wrote about it once in an article for Forbes, and I called it, never try to be the smartest person in the room. Uh, anyway, so uh, Elvis was always very polite and would never tell people off to their face, but uh, it, it, obviously that relationship wasn't going to go anywhere. Here's a song that's uh, from an Italian melody, and Elvis loved Italian romantic, I mean popular romantic tunes, as softly as I leave you, okay? And it's called... was a uh, always saw his comfort in gospel which was his first tradition and here's a song uh, uh, a created uh, not a gospel song per se but it's called uh, let us pray and it's got a little swing to it here <laughs> Thank you. 
Now let's do uh, a little, uh, what I call the, the schmaltz, a schmaltzy uh, uh, Elvis. It's, uh, uh, I want you, I need you. I, uh, it was one of his favorites, so. <laughs> Just a little other um, um, tempo. Uh, I've always liked this tune. It's called GI Blues, and it was came out uh, when Elvis served in the uh, military. He was a uh, worked in motor pool, and he was a sergeant, so he was stationed overseas in Germany. This is called uh, uh, GI Blues. <laughs> say one of my favorite and it's from also uh elvis's first movie which many think was his very best movie and it's called love me tender uh love me tender is based on an um I, uh, i'm sorry a song from a southern tradition called aura lee and elvis um play around with a little bit and here we go love me tender <laughs> Love me tender. 
Okay, folks, I think that does it for our little concert today. I thank you for tuning in. I'll try to do some more of these. And um, meanwhile, uh, during a week, uh, work week, I do a couple of episodes of Grace Under Pressure when I talk to thought leaders and doers about how, what advice they have for leading in a crisis. Thanks very much for watching. Till next time.